just a few comments, if I may. Um, uh, on last night, there was a public hearing meeting held about uh, 288 railway improvements from US 59 to Harris County to uh, County Road 60 in Resoria County. They presented renderings of several plans along this corridor and heard, and heard testimony from the public. Uh, construction is slated to begin in 2014 at the cost of $300 million. So if you have any information concerning the 288 roadway improvements, please call TechStot. Um, the number you can reach them. You can call my office and we'll give you more information. But also there will be a meeting on Thursday, March 7th at Bear Miller Junior High School cafeteria at 3301 Manville Road in Pearland, Texas. So it was a very crowded meeting on last night and they had many uh, community concerns about the 288, many ideas, but Textile um, appeared that they were moving forward because they've already addressed the cost of this project. On Saturday will be District D, another District D day of caring. We will host a, another food giveaway with Greater Grace Outreach Church, Church along with the food bank. I want to thank my office for coordinating this uh, event, my entire staff, thank you so much. And the address is 10800 Scott Street. It will begin from noon until 3 o'clock. So those of you who live in the Sunnyside, South Park community, or surrounding areas, and you need any type of food, fresh fruit, fresh vegetables, please feel free to join our office for our, uh, one of our uh, annual D district care days in the community. This past weekend, I had the uh, awesome opportunity to travel to Washington, D.C on several very, very important issues that affect us. One was I had the opportunity to meet with Senators Cornyn and the Cruz on yesterday concerning the Violence Against Women Act and I actually handed them along with um, one of my uh, sorority sisters, Evelyn Dean, handed them over 200,000 signatures that were signed by women to tell them of support of violence against women, but many of you know that two of both these senators voted against VAWA, so we need to continue to move forward on this for protection of all women um, in this particular very uh, issue against violence. So I um, had the opportunity to, to meet with them on yesterday. It was a great meeting. It was a pleasure. My first time meeting, meeting Senator Cruz. So, but I um, took a stand with him on yesterday about our concerns here. And also we celebrated uh, 1913. And 2013 is a significant in history. We just came off of February as we celebrate Black History Month. But 1913 is so significant with our history. Um, 1913 celebrates 100 years later of the birth of Rosa Parks. And many of you know, we call her uh, the mother of civil rights, about not wanting to refuse to get up off the bus. And so uh, this is just a, a commemoration of what she has done. And so I had the opportunity to view the Rosa Parks statue on yesterday. And also, we're 50 years later after the march on Washington in this year, 2013. And then we know it's 100 years later after this signing of the Emancipation Proclamation. But what's so important about this weekend for me is to march with 15,000 Soros, women of Delta Sigma Theta, on Sunday as we commemorate 100 years of the Women's Suffrage March. And we know that the march was from March for the Protection for the Right of Women. So this was a wonderful, wonderful event. It was cold, but it was a great event attended by all. And so it was a great day held. But also, we cannot forget that those who stood for us and those who marched for us wanted us to have the right to vote. And believe it or not, on last Thursday, many of you probably saw on CNN, on local radio or local news, that they are trying to repeal the Voters' Right Act, Section 5. And so they have to defend it in the Supreme Court. And one of our justices of the Supreme Court, Scalia, said that it is a racial entitlement for us to have voting rights. So this is something that we need to stand in for as a people when we're talking about having our rights to vote. We are 100 years later and we're still saying, you know, we need to vote. We don't want to stand in long lines. Like somebody made a comment, this what we're used to standing in long lines to protect our rights. So just want to go ahead and highlight those things that happened um, this weekend for me in Washington, D.C., meeting with various congressional leaders. And uh, as we continue to move this country forward in the right of people as a whole. So as we continue to stand. And also, I didn't get the opportunity on last week to congratulate my colleague, Councilmember Larry Green. I want to apologize for that. For congratulating you on being honored at the Texas Legislature on last week as uh, an outstanding Texan. 
um, by State Representative Alma Allen. So again, congratulations for a well-deserved award. And I'll come back for part B of my announcements. Thank you, Mayor.